facts about Jesus' death and resurrection. The crucifixion and resurrection are central to the Christian faith because they reconcile us to God and promise us a new life. Jesus' resurrection was physical. Some believe that Jesus was raised in a spiritual body rather than a physical one. However, Jesus' physical body was raised from the dead. He tells the disciples. Luke chapter 24, verse 38 through 39, Amplified Bible. And he said, Why are you troubled, and why are doubts rising in your hearts? Look at the marks in my hands and my feet, and see that it is I myself. Touch me and see. A spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. To help drive this point home, Jesus ate in their presence. Do you have anything here to eat? He asked, while they still did not believe it because of their joy and amazement. They handed him a piece of broiled fish, which he ate in their presence. Luke chapter 24, verse 42 through 43, Amplified Bible. They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in front of them. Jesus leaving his burial linen was significant. The linen and cloth wrapped in Jesus' body were still there when Peter, and probably John, ran into the empty tomb. John chapter 20, verse 6 through 8, Amplified Bible. Then Simon Peter came up, following him, and went into the tomb and saw the linen wrappings neatly lying there, and the burial face cloth which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the other linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. So the other disciple who had reached the tomb first went in too, and he saw the wrappings and the face cloth and believed without any doubt that Jesus had risen from the dead. Another minor detail argues against Christ's body being stolen. The time, risk, and effort required to steal Jesus' body would have required them to take the linens and cloth, and removing them would have taken a significant amount of time and effort. When Peter and John discover those items in the tomb, it strengthens the case that Mary saw the risen Lord. Number 10. The risen Jesus appears to his disciples and followers twelve times. The New Testament mentions Jesus makes twelve post-resurrection appearances to individuals or groups. Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. Mark chapter 16, verse 9 through 11. Amplified Bible. Now Jesus, having risen from death early on the first day of the week, appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and reported it to those who had been with him while they were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe it. Jesus appeared to the women at the tomb. Matthew chapter 28, verse 8 through 10, Amplified Bible. So the women left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell the good news to the disciples. And as they went, suddenly Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! And they went to him and took hold of his feet in homage and worshipped him as the Messiah. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to leave for Galilee, and there they will see me just as I promised. Jesus appeared to Peter. Luke chapter 24, verse 34, Amplified Bible, saying, The Lord has really risen and has appeared to Simon, Peter. Jesus appeared to those who were at his ascension. Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 9, Amplified Bible. So when they had come together, they asked him repeatedly, Lord, are you at this time reestablishing the kingdom and restoring it to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power and ability when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the ends of the earth. Jesus appeared to the travelers on the road, the disciples without Thomas. Jesus appeared to the disciples, including Thomas. John chapter 20, verse 26 through 31, Amplified Bible. Eight days later, his disciples were again inside the house, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, though the doors had been barred, and stood among them, and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach here with your finger, and see my hands. 
and put out your hands and place it in my side. Do not be unbelieving, but stop doubting and believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, do you now believe? Blessed, happy, spiritually secure, and favored by God are they who did not see me and yet believed in me. There are also many other signs attesting miracles that Jesus performed in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book, but these have been written so that you may believe with a deep abiding trust that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed, the Son of God, and that by believing and trusting in and relying on Him, you may have life in His name. Jesus appeared to the disciples while they fished. Jesus appeared to the disciples on the mountain. Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, Amplified Bible. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had designated. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted that it was really he. Jesus came up and said to them, All authority, all power of absolute rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, remaining with you perpetually, regardless of circumstance, and on every occasion, even to the end of the age. Jesus appeared to the crowd of 500. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 6, Amplified Bible. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, the majority of whom are still alive, but some have fallen asleep in death. Jesus appeared to James. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7, Amplified Bible. Then he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. And as they looked on, he was caught up in a cloud and lifted out of their sight. Jesus appeared to Paul. Number 11. Jesus commands us to be his witnesses. The Great Commission refers to the final words of Matthew's Gospel, and this is where Jesus gave the church its assignment. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20, Amplified Bible. Jesus came up and said to them, all authority, all power of absolute rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, remaining with you perpetually, regardless of circumstance, and on every occasion, even to the end of the age. Just before ascending into heaven, Jesus says something very similar to his disciples. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 The Bible also tells us about the man that spent his last minutes with Jesus. To watch that video, click here click here.